Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 18th, 2019. So it's Thursday, but we have to think of it as a Friday. Today is the last trading day of the week as we head into the Good Friday weekend. If any of you are taking off early or planning to, to head out to take full advantage of this weekend, please let me um, wish you a very happy and um, safe weekend, whatever you intend to do, your travels for the weekend. Um, enjoy them with your friends and family, and I appreciate you being here. So let's take a look at what's going on in the market here. We just we continue to struggle up here um, as we continue to test this downtrend area of um, on the Dow, and we continue to challenge or ch attempt to ch challenge resistance highs. Market is um, really. Uh, two-sided right now where we seem to be equally matched the bulls and bears seem to have equal energy here and we continue to fight back and forth now this morning we have had every single morning here lately where we get a market rally well that's not the case this morning this morning futures are looking a little bit shaky um, just a modest decline at the open and that's really being supported um, Asian markets close lower overnight European markets are showing you know signs of, of uh, weakness this morning a little bit of mixed results after a disappointing manufacturing number in Europe so um, we're having this little bit of a consternation going on uh, in the market trying to decide who's going to take control now this morning we have just a slew of data first we have our biggest earnings day so far this second quarter and um, so we have a lot of earnings data coming out, but plus we have a pretty full economic calendar uh, this morning. We'll talk about that in a second. So, and, and then following that, we have the release of the Mueller report by the Attorney General. There'll be a press conference and likely a media storm um, of political spin coming out of that report so who knows what's actually going to happen let's take a look at um, the the current price action here in the chart and you can see we've just been struggling up here there's nothing wrong our trend is still holding up well we're still in a trending market we're still holding those trends there's no reason at least at this point to be overly bearish on the market and we're holding above some key support levels we have obviously important levels of resistance that we also have to be keying in on on this market and watching these price resistance levels but so far really nothing here to go on just a lot of chop and a lot of indecisive price action let's take a look at the spy spy um, gives me a little bit of concern uh, yesterday putting in a bearish engulfing candle and that bearish engulfing candle happens to come into play right at price resistance so that's kind of a concern here for the market and if we take a look right in here right here's that price resistance area and challenging that resistance um, we've just been struggling and struggling and struggling and then putting in that bearish and engulfing candle yesterday and possible possibly having a follow-through to that downside move this morning gives us a little bit of concern but the the key element here is that there's really nothing wrong at least at the moment because we're holding above an important support and we're holding in trend so what could occur is this little pullback could actually provide us a, that opportunity to maybe find uh, buyers to the upside. But we don't want to see that pullback actually begin to fail through, uh, through this trend, through these price support levels down in here. That would be pretty devastating and could trigger some heavy selling. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. So keep an eye on that right now. I, I still think it's really highly unlikely that the market doesn't try to reach out for these highs 
um, here in the near future. But it looks like we're, well, we're facing just a little bit of a struggle trying to get that done. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues um, reached up there tagged that all-time high as a print but was unable to hold that yesterday and pulled back so there's nothing here wrong in the queues other than we're, we may just be challenging these all-time highs and running into some price resistance there could be you know bears up here milling about those bears at least at this point don't seem to have a whole lot of teeth but we are looking at a little follow through today to the downside at the open getting that little push down now of course all of these things could change very quickly as those earnings reports start rolling out and we start making it through that economic calendar data points this morning the, um, here at 8:30. so there could be a lot of uh, movement around and and this picture could change uh, dramatically um, as the morning progresses so kind of keep that in mind there's so much data for the market to chew on here today now what's going to be important as we deal with this resistance if we continue to fail we don't want to see um, the Nasdaq the Qs actually start to break down this trend if it starts to break down this trend we could have a little bit of problem consolidation would be okay breaking down could be a little problem and it could get serious if we start to break through that little level of price support right in there. Um, and if we lose this one, um, it, we're in trouble. Uh, it could get really serious. So watch that pullback right here. We don't want to see that occur. If um, Assuming that you're a bull, you don't want to see that occur. If you're a bear, um, you want that to happen. So we'll have to watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also showing some weakness here like this spy putting in that bearish engulfing candle a little bit of um well a little bit of problem coming into uh, this iwm chart and as you can see failing right here at this price resistance um, not a good sign but so far we're holding above this level of support and if we lose and drop down through there things could get a little bit serious here in iwm so we'll want to keep an eye on that IWM not looking too healthy at the moment, so it kind of joins in there with the SPY, giving us that little bit of concern, a little bit of pause for the overall market. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX kicked off just a little tiny bit of fear yesterday. We started quite a bit lower yesterday, but then that VIX indicator started to perk up here just a little bit, showing us a little bit of fear maybe creeping in. And this hammer pattern down here could be one of those signals that we've reached a bottom here uh, for the short term. So we'll have to watch this close um, in this chart. Right now, I don't think there's an awful lot of concern until we spike above here and were to hold that as support. But any rally here could certainly trigger some selling and a pullback and we'll want to keep a close eye on that today as all of these data points begin to roll out this morning now futures as i have started this have already improved the, uh, as as i begin uh, talking um, in this video um, Dow futures are now only down 19 points. They have improved. We continue to rally here this morning, pressing higher and higher um, on the as as earnings and things begin to roll out. Um, so, you know, remember, there's a lot of fluctuation that could happen in this market prior to the open. Let's take a look at T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see that four week new high ratio has um, pulled us back to nearly 50%. So that little bit of selling yesterday actually has opened a window here to the upside. So as we kind of sell off here a little bit, getting a little bit of weakness in here, we do have plenty of room now. If we find that inspiration today to really rally, we do have that room. But also keep in mind, if those bears continue to, to chomp away and uh, weaken this market, um, we have also have plenty of room for that downside move. So kind of keep in mind, we're right there in the middle. We're waiting to see which side 
gets the inspiration and gains the upper hand overall. So let's uh, take a look at our economic calendar today. And on that economic calendar, whoops, here we go. On that economic calendar, as you can see, we have a fairly substantial morning. We have um, jobless claims. Now, these are expected to come in good. There's there, All the consensus numbers are suggesting these numbers come in good. But, you know, if, if something were to miss, that's when we get the the big market reaction we have the philly fed and then we have retail sales all here at 8 30 this morning and all of those obviously are market moving or potentially market moving events and i would probably key in more most focus here on the retail sales that will be really important we had that little shake up in retail sales where they dropped pretty significantly they've been coming back and hopefully that will continue we'll continue to see those retail sales holding in there nicely let's take a look we also have business inventories coming out at um, 10 a.m this uh, petroleum or uh, natural gas report unlikely to move the market at all today and as you can see we just have a slew of bond auctions and announcements and things going on today and then after the close we have the fed balance sheet which i wouldn't expect to move us around at all today keep in mind that even though the market is closed on friday housing starts numbers are coming out and we'll want to keep an eye on that because that can certainly affect our Monday open so keep that uh, keep that in mind as you're watching those futures come back into play um, after that report on the earnings calendar um, we have over 75 companies reporting earnings today a pretty good pretty good chunk of earnings reports coming out and then keep in mind next week this full plate that we're dealing with of data only increases uh, next week we have about 800 companies just short of 800 companies reporting um, earnings so um, earnings season really begins to ramp up we get start getting really really busy next week in those earnings so we're going to come right back into uh, a lot more data uh, that the market has to chew through so kind of keep that in mind how you plan um, your risk into the weekend we could easily see monday morning either that big gap up or big gap down so think about that as you plan what you hold and your risk into the weekend now, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, <clears throat> please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button, and there's a little pop-up that comes up. Make sure and click that bell icon um, so that you'll be notified when I post these videos. You know, um, I do this... Um, as part of my market preparation, I just happen to share it with everyone. And if you guys find this helpful, if you find this useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button, click that thumbs up button, and leave a short comment. It helps those algorithms show these videos to more and more people. And it's interesting, as I continue to, to um, record this video, futures have now gone positive. Futures have now gone positive. <clears throat> So we're trying really, really hard to uh, push push uh, things back up here in that pre-market pump. We'll see if that can hold. Hopefully we don't end up with yet another pop and drop um, in the market. We don't want to see that. So let's take a look at a few stocks that might be of interest, things that you might want to take a look at. Uh, for potential trades. One that is really interesting to me after yesterday's big move is Goldman Sachs. Take a look at Goldman. Um, we're going to need these financial companies if the market is going to rally beyond these high points. We're going to need these financials to start uh, kicking up here. And <clears throat> As you can see, I have a big downtrend line here on Goldman. And Goldman right now at this moment is trying to break through that level. So 
um, we may be challenging these resistance areas up here. We have to watch this for either the breakout or the potential failure. Obviously, um, if we fail here, this could be a critically important thing for the market if all of those financials start to turn lower. Goldman can certainly lead that. So kind of keep an eye on Goldman here. We need that to um, hang in here. Now, if Goldman can move on through that downtrend, maybe hold it as support and show some buyers kicking up in here, holding on to this little trend, then we'd have a pretty good opportunity for those financials to start helping the market, pushing things back up. So keep an eye on that. Big Morningstar type pattern yesterday um, in Goldman and big improvement, I think, overall in a lot of the financials. If you take a look at JP Morgan yesterday, a really substantial improvement after um, earnings um, and a little pullback it shot up um, strong yesterday so any rest or pullback in um, JP Morgan may be an interesting entry into uh, those trades and you can just look across all the different uh, financials and see kind of the same thing there's Citibank moving up strongly and just happens to be running right into that longer term downtrend so we'll want to watch that here any rest or pullback though could provide an opportunity into Citibank. So let's keep an eye on some of these financials. Um, we need them if we're going to break through, I think, and really um, push into that um, uh, space above. Take a look at GIS. GIS, I, I've mentioned this several times, and GIS continues to, to hang in there pretty nicely. GIS is one of those beautiful trends, uh, nice trending patterns, and you can see have this nice little consolidation move here over to the trend and that opportunity to pop out here. GIS is looking pretty good, and I'm um, kind of um, keeping a real close eye on that chart. Take a look at STZ, a constellation brands big move up on uh, their earnings report here in constellation big rally and you can see then this consolidation in here um, is looking really really good so we want to keep an eye on this it, it's possible this could take off at any time and you can see i've placed a price alert up here i'm kind of waiting for this to move through and um, and pick up looking really really good though and one we want to pay attention attention to um, in that chart. Um, MDLZ is another one of those uh, consumer defensive areas that started looking pretty ugly yesterday and then uh, came right back. A nice little rally back uh, at the end of the day. So I would want to watch this for that potential to uh, move higher here. MDLZ, another one of those consumer defensives that seem to be picking up an awful lot of energy here lately as the market concern continues uh, to roll on. Take a look at Apple. Um, I've mentioned Apple a couple of times and um, Rightway Options uh, and, and a lot of the members are in Apple already. We got in early on the on this alert yesterday and looking really, really good here um, on the day. I don't think Apple. Yeah, Apple might be trying to creep a little bit higher this morning at the open. It all depends on how these features continue to roll out, but we'll want to keep an eye on Apple. That's a beautiful price pattern, and I would suspect that we're just going to move right on up um, in this trend and move up here to uh, toward this level, maybe testing resistance up in here on, on the price of this chart. So up around that 209, 210 area would not be out of the question. So kind of keep that in mind. Apple looking really good here after making its deal with Qualcomm. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And I want to wish you a fantastic long three-day weekend. Consider carefully the risk you take into the weekend. I, I, um, I can tell you personally that what I've done is during this week, I have taken very few new trades and I've been closing and taking profits uh, during this week. Um, 
to reduce my risk to the the weekend my one new trade uh, being Apple and right now I actually have that hedged um, with uh, some other option positions so I'm, I'm not real concerned about it but I haven't been adding a bunch of trades ahead of the long weekend so just keep that in mind consider that risk carefully you certainly don't have to uh, be flatter or be overly concerned about the weekend but I always try to take those profits you know my job is to make money not to be a hero and not to try and hit home runs on every trade my job is to consistently make money and um, that's what I attempt to do and why I take those profits so consistently everyone I want to wish you all an awesome awesome weekend take care of yourselves be safe we'll see you right back here on Monday morning have a great day Thank you.